What's up guys, Master Styles here, back with another AFK Journey video. And today we're going to be covering what you should be doing in your first 28 days. I've been playing this game for almost a month now and we'll cover some of the heroes you want to pick up depending on if you're free to play, if you pay to win, it's a little bit different. We'll talk about pushing AFK stages. We'll talk about pushing the story mode and all of that fun stuff. So let's actually hop over events here and see what we got. So I haven't collected these because I know that I was going to make a video and we'll go through here. So this here is where you get one of the, no, I didn't want that. I didn't want him. I didn't, I wanted her. Right here, man, already, okay. Well, that's that's okay. Eventually I'll get her. Now I don't have, I'm not gonna get another copy of him because this is how the game works. But after playing for 28 days, you get one of those higher tier heroes, right? And since I got a copy of him, I get to bring him up to the next level, which is cool, right? Need two copies of him to get well, one more copy of him to get him to legendary, which isn't bad. But again, when it comes to this game, you are going to get all of the heroes if you play long enough. That's pretty much that. Thing is, right? So if you're in your first 28 days, heroes you want to pick up. First up, get you a copy of Smokey. You're going to need him. He's going to help you in a lot of situations, a lot of the content. I use him a lot. He's on majority of the teams that I use. Only time I don't use this guy, I'll show you where I don't use him. The one place I don't use him is Legendary Trials because I'm forced to use the other factions. That's the only time I don't use him. Other than that, he's in everything. When I'm in Arena, on Honor Duels, I try to get him there. Dream Realm, Battle Drills, Arcane, Labyrinth, everywhere. You just use them everywhere. So get you a copy of Smokey. We already know that to do that, you have to go into the summoning and put him in your wish list. So obviously here, yeah, she's here. Oh, great, good for that. You put him in your wish list, make sure he's there. Here he is, boom, add him to your wish list. And he's probably gonna stay there until I get him to Mythic, right? So again, Smokey definitely should be at the top of your list because he's a support and he's definitely gonna help out to progress your account. Another hero, Brutus. Brutus, early game, amazing. Cause again, his invincibility is what's great about him. And to get a fatal strike, then he pretty much ignores it and he's in invincibility state for five seconds. That right there will help you out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's hop over here to AFK stages and I'll kind of show you what it's all about. So here, they're closer to our level, which is great. And you'll see kind of how Brutus helps us out here. He's up front, he takes a lot of damage. There you go, pops into a, his ultimate, takes out that guy. And the other side of it too is, it now gives the units in the back a chance to pop off their ultimates. One day they, they use their ultimates, it's pretty much done. So see you're gonna get for free anyways. He's one of the first S level heroes they give you in the beginning of the game. Let's pick up these letters here. Another hero that I am also working on, but he's not quite there yet, is Audi. Audi is amazing, right? Once you get him to Mythic, I, I talked about this. If you've been watching my FK content, just know that I talk about Audi. Audi automatically defeats poison targets. Keyword there, targets. And again, it automatically Feats. That's the key there. So I'm very close. I need how much more copies of this guy to get him to mythic 10 copies. Whew, that is a lot. Yeah, I know. I see you Adi. Shout out to you. But 
This guy, slowly work on him, especially if you're free to play. If you pay to win, you already know. We ain't going to mention that anymore. But for free to play, new to the game, Adi's one of the characters you want to have on your list. Slowly build him. He's amazing. One thing worth noting too is that when it comes to the new heroes added to the game, just know that, for instance, Flora here, she will eventually be added to here. Just like Vala was the other new hero that was added to the game. So eventually, Flora will be added to the wish list pool, right? So you could potentially wait or you can summon for Flora. But for me right now, I'm holding on to my diamonds. I know that there's going to be two new heroes come into the game. So when I hold on to those diamonds, I'm also holding on to my tickets. I don't have a lot of them, but at the same time, I'm gonna hold on to those until the new hero come to the game. And since it's two, I already mentioned this in my previous video that it could potentially be a situation where there will be a banner for one here and the other one could be added to the S level pool, right? Right away. But hopefully it's not two heroes on a banner. That'll be, yeah, not really too fond of that, but could be a situation because it is two new heroes. Don't quite yet know how they're gonna go about the two new heroes being added to the game. Other hero you want to get your hands on. Let me find him here. Thorin. Thorin is amazing. Thorin, similar to that of Brutus, he has the ability that comes back to life and he'll work perfectly with Cecilia because of that faction bonus. So running him and Cecilia plus three of another faction works very well. Thorin will give Cecilia enough time for her to pop off her ultimate. Once she pops off her ultimate, the golem comes out. Pretty much, it's going to be over. And even though I didn't mention her, make sure you continuously progress your Cecilia because she's going to be a main damage dealer for the first 28 days after that, depending on, you know, if you get somebody better, but she'll primarily be one of your main damage dealers. She's awesome too, so definitely work on her anybody else that i would say you want to get oh of course support you want to get you a copy of coco coco will help you out in situations where you're taking high damage it reduces damage but note that once the marker above your head goes away that get converts into damage to your unit so that's something to where it noted also rowan rowan is good where is rowan yeah, Rowan is good too. So Rowan, Ro, Rowan, Smokey, and Coco combination is a good combination, especially when you're having a situation where you're trying to, let, let's actually show it to you, not just only talk about it. I'm all about showing, you know? That's how I function around here. I wanna show it to you. I don't just wanna talk about it. Let's. Let's go show it to you, right? I'll take all of that. Whatever you got to give me, that is free. I am for it. So let's take, uh, let's keep Brutus in there. We'll take that out, that out. Her, no, we need to see if she's our main damage dealer. Only thing is with this team, you're not gonna get the, the bonus, but sometimes that's okay. Because we have Coco, right? And Rowan behind Brutus. So again, this team here, Three supports, uh, tank up front, and damage dealer. The longer we can keep Brutus up, it gives Cecilia enough time to get her ultimate off. Let's see how this works. And even if Brutus gets in trouble, Coco could potentially help out. Let's see if we have enough time. And you see, he's back to full health there. Rowan would also provide some buffs to him. So with Coco, Smokey, he's right there which is perfect because he's right in the range of Smokey. One thing to note about Smokey is that he doesn't move from where he is. Where you place him, he don't move. But as you can see here, without the additional support, Brutus might have not made it there. I'm pretty sure he probably wouldn't have because he took a lot of damage in the first couple of seconds of the match. But remember, 
he has that invincibility, which is great. So there you go, displaying what five of the heroes that I talked about. Any other honorable mentions, of course, because we have all this stuff to cover. One other person I would say is for other game modes, right? There's other game modes in a game. If you don't have Smokey, she's a good one too. She's a great support. She has a big AOE heal. Not a bad, not a bad way to go if you don't have Smokey. Cause again, sometimes you might not get Smokey right away. In this situation, let's bring up Brutus. And that's kind of the other thing too, is like, once you get to a certain point in the leveling, you're no longer gonna be doing side by side. It's gonna be plus 10 every time. So for me in that situation, I'm not gonna acquire that 2,200 right away. It's gonna take some time for me to build up those hero essence. So that's why I brought it up to 10. I'm not gonna wait till she gets to the hero essence she need to bring him up to 60. I might as well just bring him up because I already have the heat, the trainer manuals to do it. But another person you could potentially use is him. He'll help you out with bot anything that has to do with boss battles. This guy, beautiful. Get you a copy of him. Slowly level him up. He's not gonna be on a lot of your teams, but when it comes to boss battles, he's great. Also, Corin, Corin is good too. He helps you out. You will see, you will always see their faces when they come, when it comes to, let's go into Dream Realm here. So what is the intent behind Dream Realm? You get the Dream Fragments. What does Dream Fragments do? Let's go and see, right? So you hop over here, Dream Fragments is where you pick up your heroes. And like I said, if you want to get an Adi, Here's your opportunity, right? You can pick him up there. You can also pick up this guy. He's here too. Only thing is we don't have the S level heroes here. If you want S level heroes, you have to play arena. So play arena that play it every day and continuously play it. Cause from this situation here at four days, I don't think I'm going to get anybody here other than I think Rowan isn't bad. I already talked about Rowan, but with a dream realm, it's going to reset in four days or well, five days if you want to look at it that way, right? So we already talked about the heroes that's even that's worth picking up and either slowly build or focus on. Of course, Andandre is good too. Nice combo with Brutus because again, with Entendre, Brutus, and Smokey, you have you already have halfway, you're halfway through your faction bonus. So that's the team that I run. And I like Caroline because she does freeze the enemy with her ultimate. And it's a great combo with Cecilia because Brutus and Tandra tanks up front. Again, it's, it's, I'm more of a shower. I don't know why I'm just saying it. Let me just show it to you, right? Let's remove them, remove you and put her back here and then put Entendre next to Brutus and show you what I'm talking about. No. Nope. And if you didn't see my tips and tricks for pushing AFK stages, I made a whole video about this, but this is the team that I've been running when I'm pushing AFK. Cause again, Brutus is up front, takes a lot of damage and Tondra is there to help just in case Brutus don't make it. Because my ultimate goal is pretty much to get the heroes in the back to pop their ultimates. And once they pop the ultimates, it's pretty much done, right? That is my intent there. That's why Entendre is in there. You see Brutus didn't make it, but if it was a situation where we needed a little bit more, Entendre can tank some of that damage if Brutus happened to not make it. And just like that, you saw it there. So speaking about AFK stages, continue to push AFK stages because again, that is what's going to give you these resources that you need, especially Hero Essence. That's one of the main bottlenecks in this game. You'll have a lot of training manuals, gold you'll get. Diamonds is very hard to come by in the later game. Obviously in the beginning you get a lot of it. So you're like, oh, what do I do with it? I would save it till I at least find a hero. 
that's even worth summoning for. I did go for Vala and I also went for Flora. Again, it's cause I make content. If I was not making content, then I would take my time and making sure that I get the right heroes. But again, I make content, so I wanna get all the heroes, testing them out and still remain free to play. That I think that's the hardest part cause it's like, making sure you manage your resources. That's one thing about this game that I noticed. If you're not managing your resources, chances are you're gonna end up in a situation where there's gonna be an OP hero come out and you don't have the proper resources to either get a copy or, you know, summon for said heroes. So right now I'm looking at all my resources here and I'll just continue to accumulate because there isn't much for me to go for. Yes, I would love to bring my Audi to, to Mythic, but slow roll. It's free to play, there's no rush. Again, to be competitive in this game, it's not gonna be easy. It's just not. Because again, people spend a lot of money on this game. Just so you know, if you don't know that, people spend a lot of money on this game. I've seen accounts that are 28 days that are level 200, 240, like, man. If you got the money to do it, go for it. I ain't gonna tell you no, but like I said, things you wanna do is pick up those heroes that I mentioned. You definitely wanna push your AFK stages. You definitely wanna continue to progress through the story mode, because the more you progress through the story mode, the more you unlock. As you can see, that Primal Lord there, I need to get to him so I can get those juicy rewards. What else they have there, that's it? Okay. And I need to progress all the way. I'm, I'm close. Let's go look at my map progression here. I'm very close. So after I beat through this part, I'll access him over there. It says five, but it looks like he's in, no, he's in five. Oh, he's in the back of five, okay. And as you can see, I skipped over a lot of these because I'm saving them. Every time you see these, just know that those are the advanced, I call them advanced summoning letters, right? Okay. So again, that's one, two, three, four, five, and I think six, seven, eight. Looking at eight there. So not bad, that's eight of them. And the highest one is 61. I can beat those other ones. Just a matter of time, we go collect those. I also see this here, one of my favorites. Make sure you're doing this. Because again, this thing here, let's see what the rewards are. Yeah, I want I want the one that has the S level soul stone shards. That's what I'm looking for. This is okay here. Decent, decent amount of gears, because those are 145, so decent gears there, which is pretty cool. It'll help out. Another thing too is you wanna continuously keep working on your class upgrades, right? Make sure you continuously work on that because that's going to help out with your heroes. These are some of the things you wanna do in your first 28 days. Again, I haven't been playing as much because the story, the story itself, as you can see, I should have already been over here, but in the next video, I'll get over there. That is definitely my Goal now, we'll go against the top Primal Lord. This is a series, but at the same time, I do videos that are outside of the series because again, this is the game that I like making content about. If you haven't checked out any of my other content from the game, I have a bunch of videos. You can go into the AFK journey guide and you'll see all the content that I have there. That is all I have for today. Mm -hmm. Not much summoning. Normally I like to do summonings in the videos, but right now I'm staying true to free to play and making sure that I don't just burn through my summons just for the sake of creating content. Wait till somebody new come out, then I could potentially do some pulls. But if you're new to my content, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it, it'll help me to hit my goal, getting to 600 subscribers. We're close, we're knocking on the door and soon we'll kick it in. And if you're rocking with me, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to comment down below how far you are in your own AFK journey. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. 
if you are subscribed to the channel. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Till the next video, peace.